Google Calendar provides schools, teachers, parents, and students with excellent tools for staying connected. In this tutorial, I'll show you a few of the advanced functions in Google Calendar that can help teachers become more efficient. In order to get to Google Calendar, you need to sign into your Gmail account and then click the App Launcher button and select Calendar. The first thing I want to show you is how to get an, a daily agenda sent to you each morning that contains all of your event details for the entire day. In order to do this, you'll need to go over to the calendar you want to get a uh, agenda from. In this case, we'll do the Mr. Glenn's class that we set up in the last video. And you'll click on this and go to Calendar Settings. This opens up the settings for each specific calendar. To go to the agenda, we'll need to go to the tab here that says Edit Notifications. So let's click that. And if you scroll down here, you'll see a little tab that says Daily Agenda. Receive an email with your agenda every day in your current time zone. So I'll go ahead and select that and then click Save Changes. Now every morning you'll receive in your email inbox a little email message with all of your daily meetings right there in one place. Another great function about Google Calendars is that it allows you to embed the calendar into a website. Say for instance you want to embed it into your own teacher website or to the school's website. What you'll do is just go over into the left to the calendar you want to embed and click on the drop down arrow and select calendar settings. And you can scroll down you'll see there's an option that says embed this calendar. And all you need to do now is just highlight all of the text that you see in between the two carrots and copy it and then take it into your website platform software and just paste it in there and then you'll see a version of this calendar in the website. This is helpful if you want people to see the website without actually having to share it with everyone. Another helpful tool for teachers in Google Calendars is to be able to change the default length of your meetings. I think this can be helpful if you want to use Calendar to plan out your lesson planning, say if you're on a block schedule or something like that. You can change the default length by going into the calendar settings. Now instead of going for a specific calendar setting, you'll go to all of the calendar settings, clicking on this drop down arrow and going to settings and then up here at the top you will select general settings and right here in this tab you see you can change the default event duration from any of these so like I mentioned the block um, block schedule you could change that to 120 minutes and then anytime you create an event it will start off as an automatic two-hour class Finally, there's a really helpful option to where you can have your Google Calendars all sync with your mobile phone calendar. The way you'll want to do that is to go into um, the gear settings. So you'll click this gear, go to settings, and then you'll go up here on the top tab to mobile setup. And what you'll need to do here is have your mobile phone number verified. You do that by typing in your phone number here and having them send you the verification code. Once you get that, you can enter the verification code here and click Finish Setup. And it will sync all of your events on your Google Calendar to your phone's calendar. So you can see them all there. You don't have to log in to your computer to see your events. You can just have them right there on your phone with everything else. Once you have all of these functions set up and automated, it will make your life a lot easier and you, you'll probably never forget an event or an important date again. If you have any questions about how to use Google Calendar, um, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to all of them. Thanks and have a nice day.